Hi everyone, it's Sharon here. I'm back with another card today for Craft Stash. They've got a gorgeous new collection called the Daisy Chain Collection and I've made a Valentine's card today and I've got a few of the, the goodies from this collection. This is the Dainty Daisy border set. You get two lovely border dies and then there, this is the Nesting Daisy doily set. And there's also an embossing folder that goes with these and that's called the Daisy Chain. I write on the back of my embossing folders in permanent marker so that I don't forget because once they're in my drawer I do tend to lose track of where I got things. So I'm going to start with the one of the borders from the Dainty Daisy border set. That's a bit of a mouthful. <clears throat> And what I want to do is put this down the edge of my card. These borders are great because they don't cut on one edge so that you you get the pattern inlaid into the card. If you want to cut it and create a strip, obviously you can. But this gives you the flexibility and I really think it's perfect for putting down the side of a card. So I'm just going to use a bit of um, masking tape. I was just putting it on my sleeve there just so it's not too sticky. I don't want it to tear my cards as I pull it off. I'm just going to run that through my machine. Now I want to mention as you can see I've put this through at an angle because it's a card blank and it's too long to go through sideways all the pressure <clears throat> if you put it through straight you're expecting your machine to cut the whole thing literally within that sort of one centimeter of space. If you put it at a slight angle you'll find it cuts better. So that's a useful tip. Um, you will find if you put it through completely um, horizontal, it you'll you'll get a bit in the middle that just doesn't cut very well. So I've poked out all the pieces, and as you can see, that is beautiful. But I want that design to show. So what I'm planning to do is paint the inside. So I'm using my masking tape, and I'm going to mask off an area so that I can give myself a nice border on the inside. I don't want to colour all of it because obviously I want it white for writing my message but I do want to strip down that right hand side of colour so that it really highlights that design. I'm using the, my grid paper to make sure I get this straight because it will really show if it's wonky. So I'm just carefully lining that up and now I'm ready to add my paint. So I'm just going to bring back across my craft mat because I don't want to get paint all over the place. And I'm using um, some of the Creative Expressions Gilding Polish. This is called Rich Red and it's a beautiful colour. This is a brand new pot so I've already wet the sponge. Um, if you don't wet the sponge all the paint just kind of absorbs into it and you waste a lot of paint. So if you give the, the sponge a bit of a soaking first it, it just absorbs the paint nicely and, and it means it goes on smoother. So I'm just putting a generous amount on. I'm just putting the lid back on. And then I'm ready to carefully remove the tape. Take the tape off straight away, don't wait for it to dry because you could tear your paper and that's looking absolutely perfect. So I'm just going to pop that to one side to dry. You can see how well it's going to look. I'll pop that to one side and quickly clean up my mat and then we'll move on to the next step. I've used some of the creative um, circle dies to cut the largest circle from the set from some white card and now I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine with this lovely embossing folder. It's just the perfect size, it just fits in there. So I'll just run that through and as you can see that's come out beautifully. It's a really lovely design and what I want to do so that this shows really well is to add some of that red paint. Now because the applicator with this paint is a sponge, if you put any pressure on that it will squish and completely cover the front. Whereas I just want it to highlight the design so I'm not pushing on this at all. I'm just skimming it uh, over the surface and it will pick up the raised edges. It 
as I say, if you put any pressure on, you'll you'll just completely coat it. I mean, that might be the look you're going for, and that's another beautiful look if you want to completely colour it. By all means, obviously, push push down, and you'll you'll get a completely red piece. But I think this is just perfect for highlighting. This paint's got a lovely sort of pearly shimmery finish, so it just gives a, an extra something to the card. So I've got my card base all ready to go, and that strips just worked perfectly. And then I've got my embossed piece and I need to add a greeting now. So I've decided to go with the small doily from the die set, which is the nesting daisy doily set. And I've cut that just from white card because I want my greeting to show. And we've got enough going on in the card without any more colour or pattern. So I want this bit to be quite simple. And I'm using the coordinating stamp set, which is the daisy chain sentiment set. This set is designed to go with these dies and all the sentiments will fit nicely within that doily and the the sentiments in the set cover kind of all the occasions that you'd need you've got birthday retirement get well soon um thank you you're in my thoughts best wishes and the one that i'm most excited about actually is you'll be missed because i make a lot of leaving cards for people at work and i can never find good sentiments so i'm really delighted that i've got one in this set now, as you can see, because I've, this is kind of a Valentine's type card, um, or it could be an anniversary or or even a wedding card. So I've gone for the Love You stamp from the set and I'm layering everything up because I've got quite a lot going on with patterns and and the, the intricate doily dies. I want everything to show nicely. So I'm going to layer up the first embossed piece with a foam with some foam pads which I've just put on the back because I want that to stand up from the card front and it's important to make sure you get this straight because of course the design has got lines going across it'll show quite badly if, if you put it on wonky which I usually do so I've got that straight and then again this doily die cut is quite intricate if I were to put that flat onto that pattern background it would kind of get lost because you've got all that red showing of the of the design so by putting on a foam pad it, it gives your eyes a chance to sort of see the the lovely design so I'm just going to pop that in the center and then that's my card finished I'll put details of all the products that I've used in the description box on YouTube and you can also find details of everything and you'll, you'll obviously find the products for sale over at the Craft Stash website, which is www.craftstash.co.uk. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon. Bye.